Hi. Hi, students. This is Dr. Badrinath, and we are studying the subject of social and preventive pharmacy, also called as social and preventive medicine, right? Uh, the simple concept and very important concept, very small only. This concept is very small. National Family Welfare Program. National Family Welfare Program. It is also called as a family planning program. Family planning means reduction of the family size. In world and age, there was very, very big families were there. And the government says that we two, we are two. We two, that is a wife and husband. We are two. We have two. That is a one child, two, two, two childs. That is a one girl and one uh, uh, boy. Like that, uh, the government has introduced this concept. A small family is a happy family. So try to minimize the size of the family so that you are, it is nothing but you are in a good position. Your small uh, family is in a good position. It is in a good settlement, okay? Well settled, well being, okay? Like that. So it was a government concept. A small family is a happy family and it is a welfare, high welfare, very good in a welfare condition. That is the concept of the today, okay? So it's nothing but family planning program. In world and age, there was saying that uh, we too, we have to. No, later what happened, they changed it again. We too, we have one. See this. This concept is from government only, central government. Like that, they have reduced. They cannot reduce beyond this. It is a minimum. One person is minimum nowadays. Okay. So beyond that, uh, it is not possible. So it came to the, because Indian population is gone increasing, it will be very difficult to find all the sources in this pandemic. See here how the, see the people density is more. Okay. We cannot control even single pandemic, single organism also. The man is not able to handle. Uh, that was the situation. Okay. Drastic situation. That's why uh, this, uh, these type of programs are, uh, it seems important. Yeah. This is a subject, social and preventive pharmacy. And uh, we have, so we are studying the subject of national family welfare program. See here, this point, what highlighted that point we are focusing. So very simple concept, only three or four uh, concepts are there. Uh, introduction, what are the goals and uh, aims or objectives, whatever it may be. Goals, aims, objectives of this uh, cover and the strategies and functioning. How they have achieved, very simple. Very quick review we can do. See, this in India is the first country who had launched the nationwide family planning program. No other country has introduced in the world. Why? Because this is a need for the India only. Because Indian population is more when compared to the other country. That is, China is the first. Second top um, is our India only. So, it is the India's headache to control the family. Even China is also controlling. But however, before China, first India is introduced to this family. Reduce the family size. Family planning. Okay. Two childs are enough. One child is enough. That's it. India is the first country who had launched the national wide family planning program. It was launched in the 1951 to 52 in this era because uh, some textbooks have shown 51 and some textbooks are given as a 52 only. Actually, it is a 51, but no problem. In the exam, you can be right as a 51 and 52. This is basically related to the quality of life, well being. I am well settled. I am well being. I have all the resources. Okay. Good economical resources there. Good food is available. Like that. Well being. When means you have a small family. Then only you can settle your children very well. If if suppose say there was a 10 child or 20 child, it will be very big, uh, hectic to the um, head of the family. Very tension also. He will feel very tension in such a situation. Okay. So, so like that problems will come. This is basically related to the quality of life. This program encourages the small families. Uh, this program strongly believes that small families will have a good welfare. That is a basic concept of this. It includes the education, nutrition, health, women welfare also, this program. Okay. Not only stopped with the family planning, it educates. Okay. It centrally sponsored. This is a centrally sponsored scheme. Central government, 100% funds will be provided by the central government only. State government... Uh, role is very less here and what are the goals uh, reduction of the birth rate all these values very very important all these values okay reduction of a birth rate in in world and age birth rate is for thousand people birth rate is 29 or newborn newborn uh, for every thousand people okay they are reducing to 21 so newborns are 21 like that from 29 
to 21 they have reduced so in world and age the rate of birth is 29 new births per thousand nowadays they want to reduce it to the 21 for every thousand birth like that they reduce reduction of a death rate from see reduction death rate they are not promoting they want the to survive the old age only newly who are all coming to this life they are going to cut there because once after burn we cannot have a government is have a rights to kill them so they are supporting the senior citizen reduction of the death rate previously death rate was 10 people are going to death out of thousand but now they have reduced it to that is a goals and aim what is their concept reduction of family size from 4.2 to 2.3 that is an average person for family not point two means we cannot cut the head and he is a person two persons plus one head uh, not like that okay 2.3 means not that 2.3 Average, on and average, they will calculate uh, some families having a high number, some families having a low number, and finally, they will divide and uh, by the average, they will take. That average members, previously, it was 4.2. They want to reduce to the 2.3. Uh, rising the couple protection. Couples, they are protecting the newly couples also from 43.3 to 60%. They are protecting them. Reduction of the net reproduction, reproduction rate from 1.48 to 1. They want to reduce the newly coming. Those who are uh, newly coming, they want to avoid the pregnancy, terminate the pregnancy. Like that. one is enough. Don't go for two. Like that. Decrease in the infant mortality rate from 79 to less than 60. Mortality means death rate. Out of 1,000 babies, they want to reduce. See, death rate previously, it was 79 babies for death. But because it is already born, we cannot, the government will not kill the new babies or senior citizens. So they reduce it to decrease, uh, not reduce, they want to reduce. All these are the aims, objectives, okay? And the literacy, what the strategies are? The first one is the education, literacy, okay? There is a uh, direct relation between the illiteracy and fertility. Illiteracy, higher the illiteracy, higher the fertility, okay? Illiteracy means uneducated persons, okay? Village type people. Uh, so, fertility rate is also high. Reproduction rate is high. Okay, fertility rate is high because they are not aware small family will be like that. So, that's why what they, mainly they focus on the girls' education. If they educate the girl like this, so definitely it is there in their hand. So, one person they will stop. Okay. Literacy is essential and it is a strong weapon to promote the adoption of a small families. Okay. Like that from the education itself, they started... Uh, uh, people educating that one child is enough like that. Rising the age for marriage. This is also one of the thing, uh, strong weapon. It reduces the birth rate. Okay. Rising the from uh, 18 to 21. So three years uh, gap they are given for the female. So automatically uh, the birth rate will be contraceptive. Government is providing some, officially providing some hormonal tablets or condoms, whatever it may be. Uh, to ensure the adequate supply of the contraceptives to all eligible couple. See here, first uh, in the childhood, they have educated. Don't go for uh, two childs like that. In uh, such an age from that child only, girls' education, they are educating that because literacy is problem. If she, if she is uneducated, what she will listen is she will listen the uh, their parents talk or three or four like that. She will go to uh, like that. Okay. So contraceptive, uh, next is family. This is second point, rising the age for marriage. Okay, this is first one is literacy. And third one is the contraceptive. See here, it, it, they, all these are the contraceptives that prevents the formation of the uh, ovum. Okay, that you know very well. Zygote, formation of the zygote, it will be avoided by the... So like that, each and every step, they are going to be planned. First step, second step, third step. Okay. Yeah, we come to last slide. Encouraging the breastfeeding. Most of the students, they do not know that breastfeeding avoids the pregnancy. Next pregnancy will be avoided. About 5 million births per annum can be prevented through the breastfeeding. That's why breastfeeding milk also very good for a child baby. It is a passive immunity. Immunity system is passing from mother to child. Very good and very excellent thing. Okay, and also it avoids the, uh, it gives a gap between the, and also this uh, breastfeeding, it 
avoids the births, prevents the new births. See here, 5 million births. 5 million means 1 million means 10 lakhs, like that. And mass media, like this, in the films and all, using the means of uh, uh, intrapersonal or mass communication, motivation through radio, television, radio, TV, cinemas, new newspapers, okay, puppet shows, like this, okay. And cultural hindrance, some special focus is there on some religious, social, and cultural hindrances, uh, like that. And also integration with uh, other health schemes. Like um, this program is entirely linked with uh, this program is linked with the integration of the um, mother and child health schemes like that. So we will end here. A small family is a happy family. It is a quotation of this uh, video, right?